What was the process of, of getting here? When did you know that you're going to hang it up? Uh, I, I made the decision earlier, in the late last fall. I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get another fight in um, and retire after that and just move on from there. And, you know, I'm 42, 43 this year, so it's time. I remember when you were the new guy coming up. It, it doesn't uh, take long. Yeah, <laughs> I guess time flies. Yeah, time does fly, right? <laughs> it, it doesn't seem like that long ago. Well, yeah, it doesn't. I was just, I actually was just in the bus on the way over here, and, and, um, and Stefan, the skyscraper, was in there, and, I, and Bob Schreiber. I went and did a seminar for them when he was 16 years old in, in Holland. Wow. Uh, hung out, went to some fights and all that, and he was 16. And now he's 30. So just put that in perspective. <laughs> I'm an OG. <laughs> what, what, what's been the, the biggest takeaway from your career? Oh, man, just the entire journey. All the friends that I've met over the, over the years and, and, and the people that, uh, that, yeah, just the whole journey, man. The entire journey of meeting everyone and, and, and training and learning different ways of you know, approaching fights and approaching training and, and just the, the, the whole evolution of it. I, I've been there from the beginning. I, I, I was called an NHB fighter. Yeah, that's how long ago. That's how old I am. <laughs> I was a NHB fighter. Do you, do you still feel like you're going to continue in the mixed martial arts uh, culture, the lifestyle? Um, you know, not not in a coaching aspect, but like I said, I'll be in the gym. I'll still be training. I'll, I'll still, I'll still continue that journey as a martial artist, just not just not as a professional fighter. But yeah, I'll still remain. Yeah. You, having started in mixed martial arts, when you did, do you sometimes feel like, uh, it, do you wish you would have uh, had better timing as far as no, the money no and regrets. stuff like that? No regrets. Yeah, money always can be better. But when I, when I first started fighting as an NHB fighter. I wasn't making any money. It wasn't about the money at the time, you know. And then it eventually turned into a job. Paychecks got a little better, and I was able to pay the bills with that. So there you go. What was, what was the biggest highlight? Biggest highlight? Or is it going to be this Saturday? Um, no big expectations for me Saturday, but I plan to win, of course. Uh, man, just in the, the entire journey. Just the entire journey. Everyone's giving me a lot of love, and you know, and you know, and congrats, and ready to, you know, to support me in, in my last retirement fight, and it's, it's been great. Any uh, thoughts on Zach as an opponent? Zach's tough. I got to watch. I gotta, I'm going to be in a hell of a fight Saturday. Zach's a tough guy, and everyone is. You know, I'm tough. He's tough. We're going to go fight, and uh, yeah. So this being your last fight, did you come into it and say to the UFC, did you have any? stipulations or anything you wanted or you just took whoever they offered you no there's we, we we had we talked you know whatever bounced some ideas around and and then Zach stepped up and and said he would take the fight so thank you Zach well we we enjoyed the the entertainment over the years and uh, you've been uh, you know a good role model and uh, thanks for everything thanks. thank you Does that go down?